It's not an accident that this property is known as Anne Hathaway's cottage and garden. The beautiful grounds surrounding the building are expertly maintained by our team of gardeners. I think it's an absolutely fantastic property because there's several different aspects to it. We've got a beautiful uh, cottage garden, cottage flower garden immediately adjacent to the house. Then we've got the two fantastic orchards. Uh, we grow period vegetables on a small kitchen garden plot adjacent to the flower garden. And then at the top end of the garden, we've got an arboretum, a collection of trees. And each of those trees is mentioned in either a play or a sonnet. Not only do the gardens take inspiration from Shakespeare's own words, but they also seek to interpret the world he would have known. So what we're trying to do is to try and reflect the spirit of the way Shakespeare and his family members was living on these sites, but in a kind of more modern conceptual uh, horticultural form. For generations, the Hathaway family maintained that William Shakespeare wooed their ancestor in the grounds of the cottage. So, over time, it became associated with romance. Today, many people choose to propose to their lovers in the gorgeous setting of this house of love. The iconic sculpture that sits proudly in front of the cottage takes its inspiration from this romantic heritage. The idea behind that is that it's a picture frame. So you've got this beautifully sculptured willow circle and then you've got two chairs, one on a higher level than the other and then lovers will sit opposite each other and the cottage will be framed by the beautiful willow sculpture with two young lovers gazing longingly into each other's eyes.